You can start the episode because you're so you're so grumpy about my uh, Ackerman ask way of starting that you th- you think of a way to open it. I just, no, I just think you have too much power. We went over this in the last episode. The well, last I'm, I'm I think. giving my power to you. More power to you. Get- there's, there's actually been like a few times recently where we've been doing the pod where we've like stopped and then come back. And then I've thought we were doing the pod again. And in my mind, I'm talking to you in like full pod voice. And now my like casual speaking voice, which is so dramatically different. <laughs> and then like two minutes in, you're like, okay, okay, well, let's start recording again. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I'm, wait just, I'm, I'm always on my toes, you know, like I, I never know when yeah. I'm, I'm being captured in some capacity. I uh, I went to you know we're, we've been talking a lot about Blair lately and how much we appreciate mm-hmm. Blair and the nation. I yeah. went to Blair's memorial uh, get together on Monday, which was. Oh yeah. I, I'm also saying this as uh, to use the excuse of why the Sclusi is late, which I think is also right. no a, a pretty valid. You can't get mad at me about that. Um, That's good. That's why I realize how much you were just inoculating yourself. Against I also criticism. got real tree on because uh, that was the dress code, and I forgot to wear real tree to the event. But um, I met D, who was in town, who is part of the nation. I always uh, mispronounce their contributions as day or. Yeah. D-E-H, but in real life, it's D. I met D. A classic struggle. A classic Josiah struggle. And D was saying that in re- in real life, I don't talk like how I talk on the pod, apparently. Interesting. Which I, I think you talk in real life how you talk on the pod, but I but, uh, talk the, to you mostly on the pod, I guess. <laughs> the way I do notice it is when I'm like, when we're like doing a guest spot and I'm like, uh, all right, cool, we'll, we'll start now. And then I'm like. I'm so excited to have you. Like, you know, there is some yeah, kind that, of... Uh, that transition is always like, I don't know if there's a better way to do it where you're like kind of just doing like this thing. You're like, okay, here we go. Wow, thanks so much for... And you're like, <laughs> oh, does, do they think that that's... And I always find it's actually worse right at the end where you do the kind of pod end. And we should prep people for this because we never do it we're like sick and then we just pause for like a second and we're like <laughs> thank you so much for doing it because we've actually already thanked them yeah. presumably like in the in well the that's episode, why i've but... stopped saying thank you to the guest uh you on episode pause, because kind of i because sometimes they hang up and then you can't do like the after mm. you know especially if you want to network with the person and try to kind of it's link and true. build try to emit those let's Let's, I mean, let's turn this into something more than this. Yeah, you know? it's true. That's a big part of why we do the podcast is linking and building. Well, I mean, along the same, uh, uh, along the same vein of that. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could trace a vein for sure. Uh, this uh, is a new kind of sclusi that I've invented um, mm. that I think is similarly. <laughs> a new concept in podcasting. <laughs> it is. No, but I think this is going to be really fun. And I'm excited for to, for you to do one of these. I'm excited for mm-hmm. uh, maybe we'll get some guests in to do them. Because I Ooh, think maybe. the issue that I'm having is I'm so old that most of mine are not on YouTube. But anyways, this is called I Was There. And it's basically I've collected a whole bunch of shows from my life that there are videos of that I was actually at. So we can kind of like use the power of YouTube to revisit some shows that I was actually at. So it's a way to kind of brag um, specifically about when I saw POD <laughs> at Briarcrest Bible College in Saskatchewan. Sick. But, you know, there's there's a whole collection of different kinds of music, different things I've been at. And it's kind of – this is like a real uh, – really lame thing to be proud of i think when you're in your late 30s but you know what it's all i, I got I, it's I, literally I, all i got so <laughs> i feel like the experience of doing the fun 100 episode and realizing that you actually do love nostalgia and that it rocks has has taken us um down this path down this vein and i personally am very excited yeah it, it. maybe it, we fuck, maybe it is videos, that I mean, it was that and I think the experience uh, during everyone's favorite month of the pod, <laughs> Fest Month, when we did Fest videos with Jeff. And it was like genuinely, for me, enjoyable to talk about shit I've been at. But I think also it was fun hearing someone else like parse what is sometimes just like a shitty YouTube video, but like inject. Because you know, they were there. You mean they were there? They were there. I was there. I was By there. Way, I do hear it in the James Murphy um voice from losing my edge like when you suggested it it's just you going i was there 
which uh, well, I am, I'm sure was your intention. Was I am to trying to become sound system reference. the James Murphy of podcasting. Absolutely. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> patreon.com slash 155pod. I want to open a damn wine bar. So give me your money uh, and we'll do that. 